What's the best time to go to a dentist? Uh, around 2.30. I'm sorry. It's day 145 of 365, which means we've got 220 days to go. It just so happens that today we are going to the dentist to sort out Robocop's mouth. So much for summertime. I'm not complaining though, it's really refreshing after the uh, last few days of really hot summer. Come on Beverly, I'm getting wet. Bev says it's time for weather spoons. <laughs> Although if we do so, we will be late. Bev insists it's time for breakfast first. So we're going to the Weatherspoons pub. One large vegetarian breakfast with tea and toast, please. Look at all these dudes that just turned up outside in their invisible coats. I think they're salesmen going door to door. <laughs> Hello, Robocop. Oh, they're all straight. Nice. <laughs> that was a splendid breakfast. Now onwards to, uh, where are we going? Chepstow. Chepstow. Chepstow, where Susan lives. But we're not going to see Susan. She asked me not to go around and see her. Uh, uh, so Bev can get her uh, braces tightened. I wanted to say about my ankle that you might not have noticed, but I certainly did notice yesterday because I was on the f my feet most of the day, uh, on crutches of course, in the Apple store testing out the iPad. Uh, the, 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 the swelling stopped hurting so much and the ankle stopped hurting and I sort of got used to standing on it and I felt like it made it better because of all the use I was doing on it rather than keeping it up and oh fingers crossed it will get better a lot sooner than six seven weeks we're here wow on time three minutes to spare well done Bev thank you the smile lounge <laughs> I'm gonna wait here because it hurts to walk at the moment. Okay? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna wait here for uh, five minutes while she gets her metal braces yanked and pushed about to keep her teeth straightened. Go on then, go. Okay. Bye! Bye! Bye. We were gonna go out and play frisbee today. <laughs> Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen because it is so miserable and dreary out. Look at that. It's been raining since I woke up this morning. Pitter patter on the rain. It's nice to wake up to actually. I'm not complaining. Not like the rest of Britain will be. Susan's just messaged me. She says she'd like to meet up. So we're going to go to Weatherspoons again. But the one in Chepstow now. I won't have another breakfast. Don't worry. I'm not that fat. Hello. Hiya. Hello. What happened? They look the same. They're not the same. Bev just told me that apparently the mean, mean dentist has put in a, a new wire and that she's going to have to go back on the suit because she's going to be in pain. <sighs> let's go. Let's let's go out. Yes, where? I don't know. <laughs> Lots of traffic. We're in Chepstow Town Centre, I think, or somewhere within it, and uh, just looking for a place to park up. There's a massive castle in Chepstow. That's nice, like sort of castle ruins. We'll have to come back here and take Gemma and Tom. I haven't told uh, Bev that Susan's coming down, so we're meeting her, so it'll be a bit of a surprise for her. Shh. Hello, Susan. <laughs> Susan's bought me some piping stuff for the uh, for my handles to stop my hands getting blisters. Thank you. Guess who else has just turned up? Hey, it's the damsel, the windswept tree. <laughs> I've caved in. I've decided I'm going to have to have something to eat, and uh, we're, we're going to have chocolate profiteroles and chocolate cake and stuff. I think. <laughs> Look at this chocolate heaven. Now this is what I call a Weatherspoon's lunch. Mm. That, that didn't take long. You bunch of piggies. 
out of all that, I got one profiterole. One. The rest had everything else. Disgusting. He, he had half the cage. Nothing <laughs> 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 Oh, that's so sweet. My mum said she carried me out into the kitchen there to take it off me carefully. Why are you listening? <laughs> yeah. I think, oh, I'm, I think I'm amazing. I'd love to have some like <laughs> me. Are you recording me? Yep. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that on film. I might cut that bit out. It needs to be something that uh, students can communicate with and learn from rather than be confused about. And I started directing the art statement of Matt. Trying to get little bits of paper down. Susan's cleavage. <laughs> hey! It was nice seeing you two. Now that university is finished and we don't get to see you so much. But tomorrow we're going to go and see Matt's band because they're playing some really heavy rock rah, 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 metal down at the Riverside Tavern. River Tavern. Riverside Tavern. Riverside Tavern in Newport. So we're going to be checking that out after we've been to watch the football in Cardiff. Football. We've had a nice time in Chepstow and we've got to go back down to the car now to make sure it hasn't had a ticket or anything. You don't have to be so close to my face when you're filming me either, Ben. I could quite easily live here. It's a lovely place. We'll be back. Chepstow, visit it. Back to lovely Newport in the lovely traffic and the lovely rain. We are home. Ah. Right, we're back at uh, Opal One now, and there's something I want to show you uh, on the internet. I'm watching my friend Anthony David Vaughan, who's just stood there doing a photo shoot with a bunch of models. He was by the camera just now, but he's left. Hi, Anthony. This is just so you know that I'm watching. Oh, there's a girl. There's another girl. There's another girl. This is pretty cool to watch actually, I'm really impressed and looks like a proper uh, ranking fashion photographer. He's got a whole team working with him and he's down in uh, the studio doing lots of shots and you can see him working and all the makeup getting done. Very, very impressive. Well done Ant, I'm impressed. <laughs> We're watching another girl now called Caitlin, who's, uh, who's modelling for Ant. This is a really good show. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I was just chatting to the girls there, Anthony and Caitlin and Bexy and all the other people there. And I started typing too fast and I've been kicked off the room. So I'm not able to type anymore. That's Bexy, Caitlin. Both me and Gemma are watching it now. We've been on for about an hour. And uh, Ant, he's just, he's a, he's a lady killer. He's there with like five or six beautiful women taking their photos. Ant, I hate you, but I still love you, but I actually hate you right now. You're so cool, it's uncool. Oh, Anthony, I know exactly what you're doing up that ladder thing, looking down those girls' tops taking photos. You're a dirty, dirty, naughty boy. Bye. Bye, Bexy. Bye, Ant. Bye. That was a load of fun. Today's been a load of fun actually. Uh, down to Chepstow and seeing our friends down there and then seeing our friends online, can see them everywhere. I'm in the flat on my own at the moment, waiting for things to happen. Me and Chris are gonna go out tonight and play snooker down at Riley's. Come down if you're about, we'll be there till about 12, maybe even later. I hope we stay there all night, so we'll see. Give us a text. Uh, thank you for watching, day 145. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. I think I better have a shave for tomorrow. It's getting a bit farmerish.